Elf Quest, Issue 3, The Challenge, Part 2. What is it, Sava? A challenge wand. I have not seen one in many, many eights of years. When all involved are before me, I shall tell you what it means. Sava's summons is quickly obeyed. Cutter sees that even the venerable Sun Toucher, he that interprets the Daystar's every motion, is humble in the presence of the Mother of Memory. Although she knows nothing of the ancient ritual to come, Lita senses that, for good or ill, her long and tranquil life must soon change. Children of my children's children, hear now a chant that is older than old and truer than truth itself. Heart to heart are life mates bound. Soul meets soul when eyes meet eyes. Maiden, amongst those gathered round, stands your one love recognized? Speak his name, and all is done. Twixt these two you must decide. Nay to both, or I to one. Which of them must step aside? Say what is in your heart, daughter. We will all abide by your decision. Lita turns first to Rayek, her lifelong friend whose magic powers are surpassed by none save Sava, and whose restless, brooding nature is as compelling as an intricate puzzle. Then, slowly, almost against her will, Lita's eyes are drawn to Cutters. He is Rayek's opposite in every respect. Artless, frank-hearted, wild as a beast of prey. And yet, soul meets soul when eyes meet eyes? Great son, it, it can't be him. That savage? No, I'd rather be a life mate to his wolf than to cut her. For long moments, Lita agonizes in silence. Then, in truth, I... I can neither choose nor refuse either one. Poor child. Recognition is not always easy. She needs more time. If the maiden's heart is open to both who seek her love, then the trial may determine which suitor she'll approve. Cutter, chief of the Wolf Riders, Rayek has challenged you to the trial of head, hand, and heart. He that takes victory in each of three contests shall win the undisputed right to court Lita. Strength. Wits and courage, Wolf. Three out of three. You cannot defeat me. Lita will be mine once and for all. Rayek, do you know less of courtesy than this barbarian does? This is no child's game of toss stone, and I am not some trinket to be handed out as a prize. The only thing this trial will solve is your foolish rivalry, not my preference. Peace. Let the Wolf Rider speak. Does he accept the challenge? A single nod more eloquent than any boast of prowess, is Cutter's only reply. Then let the rivals prepare. The trial begins at sunrise. Remember, Rayek, this contest must be fair. Do not be tempted to use your magic against Cutter. I will not need to, mother of memory. Dawn. To the sunfolk, the first light of day is a thing to be glorified. Great events must take place in the golden mists of morning, when the sun looks most kindly upon the wakening face of the world. The wolf rider thinks to take my place, but he shall not, I swear it. I don't see the need for these contests, but I'll do as Lita wants. I could stop this with a single word. Why am I so determined to see it through? Does their brain about many changes? I pray they will be for the best. Here, where the lodestones are locked, they led us away from the fixed star, away from our old life to here. Maybe it will guide you now. <laughs> Thanks, Gaius. Kind of a win. He has to. Lita recognized him. Everyone knows it. Everyone but Lita. The trial of hand begins. A test of strength, balance, and agility. Blindfolded to prevent the use of hidden powers. Neither combatant sees the twin poles on which he knows he must perch, or the grooved cylinders which will cause those poles to tilt crazily as it rolls about. One fall loses all. Ready yourselves. Begin! Oh!
Good luck, Blackhead. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Nope. You're sympathetic. Cutter will beat the living bear fat out of him. Oh. Give up, please, Scratcher. No one can best me in this game. Ha! <laughs> this is easier than walking a tree branch in a light breeze. You were saying, Kerr? Whoops. Bead rattler. Bone polisher. Snake. Dog. <laughs> no. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. What did I tell you? He loves bear plus sun, sure let birds fly. And Rayek's chewing nettles now. Sure as snake sprawl. Well, my kidling. Rayek has lost his solitary claim on you. Perhaps the wolf Mother, rider. Physical strength is but a trifle. Surely the barbarian will fail the test of wits. Look! No! You can't have it! Get away! Sava, you can't have anything I own but this. Not New Moon. Not my father's sword. Tradition demands that both opponents must give over their weapons. They will be hidden deep and well in secret caverns in the mountains. He that regains his weapon and returns here first, by use of his wits, shall be the victor. Go on, Cutter. Luck is with you today. I know it. Very reluctantly, Cutter places his precious sword in Sava's hand. Only you can make me do this, Lita. But I still don't see why you must. Once again, Rayek and Cutter are blindfolded. But this time, their hands are bound as well. Easy, Night Runner. He'll be alright. It's all part of the test. Completely disoriented. Cutter can only hope for the best as he is led along an unknown path to an unknown place. I'm getting sick of blindfolds. And take it off if you can free your hands. We'll come back. Thanks. In another part of the maze like caverns, Rayek is already hard at work. Ah. This jutting rock should do the trick. Cutter, however, relies on his forest-born dexterity. <clears throat> I've squirmed free of strangleweed before. This isn't so different. Now where did they hide New Moon? As Cutter wanders through the cool darkness of the caves, his heightened senses serve him well. Keen night vision pierces through the gloom. And a nose so sensitive that it can distinguish one alloy from another detects the faint scent of... Bright metal! Only New Moon is forged with that light troll-made stuff. Meanwhile, Rayek's tracking ability has shown him the subtlest of clues. Those who came before to hide my dagger left footmarks so light that only I could detect them. The barbarian will lose this trial. But even so, I've no time to waste. Equally aware that time is slipping by, Cutter scrambles through a high passageway. <laughs> New Moon is down there, somewhere. Well, either I jump and risk a broken neck, or use my wits. From the strong leather lacings in his deerskin breeches, Cutter fashions a length of rope. A loose stone serves to anchor the makeshift line within a small crack in the ledge. Hopeless holes. Oh, well, not long enough. That's no better flowers down there. Oh, well. <laughs> After a search equally as bruising as Cutter's. A gleam of gold! There! In this small fissure! My dagger! But... <clears throat> it is beyond my arm's reach. Cleverly done, my people. The hilt, upright, cannot be snared. How simple it would be to levitate the dagger. But Sava would know. And Cutter would win by default. There must be another way. If only my grasp were longer. I'm strong. I must be right on top of... <coughs> New Moon! <laughs>